It's the, the challenge of dealing, uh, making something better, working with citizens. Citizens have a problem, and we had a community that was all type A, so you can imagine they thought government didn't know what it was doing and all that. But you know, they'd, they'd want to get to this point, and we'd say, well, you can't go the way you're wanting to get from A to B, but have you thought about going this way to get to that point, which would make it legal and, you know, Oh, you know, so you, know, you, you can always tell in government, you can always tell people no. The fun part is, is figuring out how to tell them yes. We have student chapters at three or four universities across the state. All of our students, academic members, are members free. They come to our conferences for free. We have some scholarships as well. So, and we even provide time on the program for them to introduce themselves to the members and what they're interested in and you know all that kind of stuff so we do that at the beginning so that when they're networking or they're socializing they, they you know people will know who they are everybody needs a mentor starting out in the organization a lot of the cities don't have entry-level positions so that's the real challenge you know we have 125 members in our association, they represent 85 cities. You know, the largest city is 130,000 and it goes down to 2,000 maybe. We're their only professional development opportunity. We have two conferences a year and part of that's not just the classes and learning that, it's the interaction with people that across the state, because our state is 550 miles long and it's 100 miles wide. So people don't know it each other. So part of this is networking, being able to say, get to know this person, and then when you've got an issue, you can reach out to that person. Hey, I've got this situation. What do you, how did y'all deal with this?